Okay, so we've done some distal exam, like some traditional uh, carpal tunnel type uh, survey, as well as a few new things. And now we're gonna uh, add in some, some more things that we could do as part of a thorough exam uh, for these referrals for, for carpal tunnel or other possible distal nerve entrapment syndromes. So to test for the median nerve a bit more proximally, uh, you know, what might be called pronator syndrome, we can do resisted, um, resisted pronation. So I'm just going to tell the client, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to give you resistance and, and go against you, but I want you to try to turn your arm down as though you're going to go palm, palm down and just stabilize your elbow, okay, and then go palm down. Okay. So we would be looking for any complaints of, of pain or achiness um, through really any place that would be logical for median nerve distribution. Then we can do resisted elbow flexion. So I'm going to hold you back, but I want you to, to pull your arm in. Okay, I'm going to give her a little padding here on the elbow. Okay, so that would be for more proximal uh, median nerve. Then we can do uh, proximal for radial nerve. So this one's going to be... Um, resisted supination. So I'm going to tell the client that I'm going to give them resistance and they're going to turn their hand this way. Okay. Okay. And then you can do same thing, resistance into supination combined with wrist extension. So so as you as you as they go over, they're going to go over and extend at the wrist at the same time. Okay. Okay, so that would be for more proximal radial nerve involvement, and you would be looking for discomfort in this area. Um, then we can do a few more things for, um, for ulnar nerve. Uh, well, for one, we can do, actually, let's start distal. You always want to go distal. Uh, sometimes if you provoke symptoms and the patient can't get back to baseline, um, then you're kind of kind of done. So I always go distal to proximal. Okay, so we can have... Um, first of all, just, just see if the client can, can adduct their fingers together. Sometimes with some ulnar nerve pathology, they might not be able to bring their little finger all the way in. Then you can do, see if they can do a rooftop. Uh, same thing for, for ulnar nerve. You might kind of see like a, like a buckle here where she couldn't quite do that flat roof, rooftop. So those are some things you can look for. Then you can test for strength in, in AB and A deduction. So I'm just going to kind of put my fingers in this way and then try to spread out okay good and then pull in okay so you're just testing for strength in a b and a deduction you could use piece of paper or maybe something a little thicker uh, to have them grip onto for a deduction okay then i might just do a survey and, and palpate around the wrist you know you can palpate in this area here that's really classic for um, ganglion cysts and just see if you feel anything uh, sometimes when you drop down like this, you just see that classic look here for ganglion cyst. You could just palpate the carpal bones in general. And if there's any dis um, discomfort, just kind of record, you know, where you are. If you fall off into this, into this divot here, you know you're in the area of the capitate. If you're here at the base of the thumb, you know you're at the trapezium. So if, you're, um, if you get some discomfort here, you might want to survey and see if there are um, signs of arthritis. Okay, so your palpation here, you can test for, um, from, for hypermobility. See if you can rotate that, that thumb metacarpal back and forth. So she had a little bit of hypermobility here. Um, you can look for signs of um, like a subluxation where you just kind of see a, a, a lump here where you, obviously that, that metacarpal is a bit forward of the trapezium is a pretty common finding. You can do the grind where you, you take the uh, metacarpal, you push down and just grind up against the um, trapezium. You can do grind here at the metacarpal phalangeal joint as well. Okay, you could test for um, wrist tendonitis. And what I usually do is, is um, give the patient resistance all the way through the full range in flexion and then all the way back through an extension. Okay, so push me all the way Okay, good, and then push out. Okay, good. So those are just some other things that you can do uh, for ruling out any other type of pathology when, for example, you might get a carpal tunnel 
referral.